Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we're back with 95th place. It's Powdron Man? Powdron Man. By Interessant. Average score 52.8. Um, Flashman being the one that's really high on this one. Let's get Powdron then. Ooh, we have... This is from Mega Man somewhere in the X series. X3. Two turkey tokens. It's it's the Blizzard guys. Uh, why do I not remember his name? Blizzard Buffalo. There we go. This is kind of not the best rendition of it. What is the point of going up there other than to just to avoid this one enemy that I'm not going to avoid? Alright, we got crystal droppers, we got ice. I, I've got skill. That's that's what we're going to call that. That was skill. Yep. No haphazard luckiness involved whatsoever there. he was going to break my stuff. <gasps> oh! Well, that didn't go well. Try and do this again. Okay, that time it was more timing stuff and not just haphazard luck. Did not go well. Okay, we gotta deal with these enemies. Or just deal with things properly. Haven't found anything resembling what a uh, tricky token or where a tricky token might. B. I am making this more difficult than it needs to be. This is a checkpoint reached. Can we go down here? This seems like... Something secretive. Hmm. 
It is something. I don't know if it's something secretive, though. No, 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 no to everything. Hey, there's a tricky token. Just a tricky token somewhere. I also missed whatever this route was. Okay. Well, there's the first tricky token. So you had to take both split paths to get the tricky token. Uh, I'm going to have problems when we go down there. This is a bad idea. All of that was a bad idea. <laughs> I don't like how the tricky tokens were split in this stage. Because unless you do what I did and die after getting one of them, you're not going to be able to get the other one. He's still attacking me after he fell through the floor. That's awesome. And we can come this way. Where I can get pegged by some Susies. I could use that. Easy E. Not as easy getting back. Okay, let's get out of here. I like the use of the icicles here. And we're at the boss. Oh yeah, isn't this Prisardo Man or whatever his name is? Fairly simple pattern, tons of contact damage. Let's find a weakness. Actually, let's use our new weapons, shall we? at all. That doesn't work either. Hmm. 
Nope, Vortex doesn't work. Okay, the electric cable. Nope. have the most complicated pattern. But so boy is that contact damage getting to me. Huh, I hit him after I died. And does he just have no weaknesses? no weaknesses. That's annoying. Well, changed his pattern up and became more undodgeable. I'm really trying not to use an energy tank on him. Not doing a good job avoiding things. Ah! One point away. I can do this. Oh, he just flies into me is the problem. There, got him. All right, what was this? No, no. Powdron Man, that was his name. Okay, let's see what the judges had to say. As an ice level, this is a start. It's got an appropriate selection of gimmicks. Ice levels should have ice. Chill blocks are good for platforming. The crystal droppers mesh well with both. The Game Boy Icicles were a welcome surprise, and their introduction with Curlinger was clever. As for the enemies, Curlinger has the odd flash of brilliance, like dunking two of them in a pit or dropping one on your head with a few seconds warning. Kanoa Ginu is a little more threatening than usual. I do like how the Curlingers were used. Crystal Joe fits well with the crystals, and Susie is a decent option to break up everything else. It's not innovative in any real sense, but it's appropriate. In general, this level can be summed up as not innovative, but appropriate. The level design is functional, keeping something of a variety going, but it's largely uneventful. The aesthetics are a huge part of that. A mostly purple cave isn't the most interesting visual, and this Blizzard Buffalo Remix, yes I was right, is a bit too relaxing. I also found the difficulty curve a bit lacking. There is an increase throughout the level, but I can't say it ever hits a serious peak. Really, I thought it was fine. All that being said, there was one challenge for an E-Tank that was unexpectedly clever. Realizing I had to jump back from the E-Tank on a bunch of already cracked blocks got a smile out of me. 
that wasn't that clever. It was fine. The biggest design issues are Powder Man and the Split Path. The former is an okay boss to fight, but he doesn't have a weakness, and that's really jarring, yes. The Split Path is a neat concept, but in practice I found the bottom path was poorly implemented. No, that's why I went to the top path. And I didn't like needing to die just to get every token in one sitting. Combine that with some glitches, a broken wall, and missing ice visuals. And this doesn't pan out the best. It's a nice level for sure, and it plays decently enough, but overall it's only a start. Yeah, I didn't know what powder meant either. I still don't. This is a French word for snow and ice crystal. Okay. Well, thank you for clarifying that, Shinryu. Yeah, you don't want to make split paths that both contain tokens like that. Basic and easy to avoid my foot. This kind of flies into me too much. That was the problem. Noun. Small crystals of ice. Defining powder. Okay. I was going to say, it's kind of like a chill man fight, in a way. Does this make it almost a chill man remix? Because we had the chill blocks, the Susies, the snowman...
Again, small crystals. So yeah, I get it. But you had to look that up. It wasn't something you just learned from the stage. Necessarily. Okay, good. You were having the same issues I was having with Powdron Man. And once again, we have Presto here. Well, we never cared for you. Uh-huh. Well then, I guess for now, I'll take my leave. I did not want to talk to you again.